hello guys and i want to say welcome back to my channel it's been a really a long time a long long time but you know come back after a long time with a new fab fresh makeup look for you guys i just recreated this look which is basically a sandwich eyeshadow look black and gold and you know this spray i'm in love and you know kind of african look i wanted to you know get and hopefully you like this video enjoy please like share and subscribe to my channel and yeah I, oh my god i'm so excited to start back and start again with my youtube videos and hopefully i'll be consistent this time and yeah guys thank you for being with me all along and yeah follow me on my social snapchat Steffi Ify and um, Facebook Stephanie Ify Madu and uh, Instagram Glam by Stephanie. Thank you. So I start off by doing my eyebrows and I'm using the MUA uh, eyeliner in the shade brown and you can see a picture of it. Now taking my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Foam, I'm applying my eyebrows using a flat blending brush. I've been using this brush for so long and I love it. It's basically a double brush so you do have a larger end and a tiny end. So I'm using a tiny bit to outline my eyebrows and the larger one to blend in the concealer. And I'm then using MAC Fix Plus uh, to prime my face before I find my foundation. The foundation I'll be using is the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Foundation in the shade 355 Coconut. I love this foundation. It applies smoothly onto the skin. Um, I'm using a kabuki brush to apply this foundation. I love kabuki brushes and you can find them on eBay. I'm now using NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk. I love this as a base for my eyeshadows because it enables them to pop out more. And I'm using a blending brush to blend that out. And then using the eyeliner I use for my eyebrows, I'm just placing that onto my crease area. And then using a black kabuki blending brush, I'm just blending that color out and making sure there's no ash lines. This is gonna be my transition color. Then using uh, that burgundy color and that brownish color, I'm just gonna define my crease area and making it more subtle look. Then I'm taking my a black eyeshadow color from the take me to brazil bh cosmetic palette and i'm going to apply that color on the inner part of my eyelid and then on the outer side of my eyelid take your time as you're doing this uh this video is just fast forward did because of due to time purposes then I'm also taking that bronze color on the same palette and patting it on the middle of my eyelid just to create a sandwich look. However, I will be using a golden color, shimmer color from the Kylie Bible BH Cosmetic and putting it on top of that just to make sure that the color pops up more. And then using a blending brush, I'm just gonna blend all three colors together making sure there are no harsh lines and there's a good transition in between the colors. I'm taking my eyeliner, it's a random eyeliner and I'm just gonna do my wing liner basically. So I like and concealer. I'm just using um, Fawn LA Girl Pro Concealer to highlight the areas I do want to highlight. I'm using a blending brush spraying some fix plus. I'm just gonna blend that concealer out. Key to highlighting is blending. Then I'm gonna use a mixture of Ben 9 banana powder and black opal finishing powder in the shade medium to set my highlight. Therefore using the same uh, beauty blender, I'm just patting the powder on the areas 
I highlighted. Take your time as you're doing this and do not apply too much product. To contour, I'm using the Milani powder in the shade Edlone 05 and I'm using like a bulky brush to apply this and I'm contouring my nose and my cheekbones. Yes sir. Get that look in it. Then I'm defining my contour by placing the mixture of Benite and the black opal powder just underneath the contour line. Then I'm using MAC Studio Fix to fix my whole face and basically have a nice transitioning color between my highlight and contour. Remember to do this every single time. <laughs> Where's my wig like that though? On the track. I'm now using a sleep blush in the shade flush and I'm applying that onto my cheeks bone. Then I'm using some highlighter from the Kylie Vibra palette to highlight the areas and define my contour. And then I'm also aligning the point of my nose and just on top of my lips. And then using the brown eyeliner I use for my eyebrows, I'm just using that on my lips to define my lips and outline them. Then I use um, the NYX Soft Matte Lip Gloss to create this look and this is the finished look guys hope you enjoyed my video and yeah see you in my next video guys thank you very much for watching love you info of the products used in these videos will be linked in the info box down below so make sure you check it out and also uh, check out for the links to where to purchase them. Thank you.